So Gojo likes putting his hands on people. Well, let me tell you a story of how someone put their hands on him. Gojo had an issue. See, he found himself in a heated battle with his adopted son, Megumi. Now, if you don't know Gojo by now, he's the number one sorcerer in the JJK universe. So fights don't usually last long for him. Nobody wants to mess with Gojo like that because he's insanely strong. But see, this fight was kind of lasting long. Megumi wasn't backing down. Well, now, the problem wasn't the fight itself. It was the body he was fighting and that was Megumi, his former student. So why is Gojo fighting his adopted son? Well, enter Sukuna, the king of courses, who was now taking over Megumi. Now, Sukuna has been existing in Yuji's body ever since Yuji ate his finger and while Yuji was able to contain him, it didn't mean that Sukuna couldn't get out because after his plan succeeded, he immediately takes over Megumi's body and proceeds to destroy Yuji. So now Megumi has lost his body to Sukuna who is taking advantage of Megumi's cost technique that sends shadows, summoning Big Raga and Hagito and putting Gojo at a disadvantage of a 3v1. Now, General Big Raga is a problem on his own because, and I need you to lock in here, since Mao Raga can generally adapt to anything, Tukuna was kind of able to cheese his way through that fight because he had Mao Raga. See, Big Raga was able to basically adapt to Gojo's infinity, which means Sukuna found a way to unalive Gojo.